Welcome to Tradespoon Live TV. My name is Vlad Karpel and I'm the founder of Tradespoon. And to my left, I have a friend, good friend of mine, Joe Cusick with Moneyblog. Joe, how are you doing today? I'm good, Vlad. Thanks. Great. Uh, this is our first presentation of the, new, from, of the new year and the market has been volatile. It's a lot of fun to trade. There's a lot of forces in the market right now. We started earnings season, a lot of the financial already made the earnings announcement. We see that the price of the oil has been fluctuating and trying to find the bottom. And the ECB decision this week, actually today, are all geopolitical events that can drive the market to the upside. There's something that is different that I've seen in the past couple of weeks is that during the market sell-off, as we reach the support around 1972 level, the VIX has been elevated. And when we have rallies to the upside, VIX still holding up at 20, 21 level, which is something new. And a lot of statistical, a lot of the technical analysts are saying that during market sell-off, if you have elevated volatility, you might get a reversal of the trend. So in terms of SPY, watch the levels at 1972. To make sure that we are not violating SPY at SPX at 1972. And the upside, the 2072 level, a lot of the technical analysts that I talked to saying that that might be the year high for the next two quarters. So we might be in this range bound until uh, you know there are new events from Europe or from earnings seasons in the United States. Joe, what do you see in the Wall Street week ahead? You know, uh, right now, basically, with the, you know, the Euro Statistically, I mean, I didn't think it was that much of a call where you're talking about a 1970 to, you know, 2070 range. Um, volatility is going to be in these markets. There is uncertainty from geopolitical. I think right now you trade what's in front of you. And the big thing that we see in 2015 is, is that the front month volatility is trading at a premium versus the back month volatility. That's important because when you see that the front month is more expensive than the back month volatility, that's telling you that we're going to continue to see volatility in the market. Now, we had the roll in the VIX futures for January, so now we're trading uh, Feb. Feb's still trading at a premium against March and June. So you're seeing that there is still continued volatility expectation going into this earnings season. With that being said, let's just stay on task with what's in front of us and trade what we know. Right now we had housing starts and we had permits that came out this week. Taking a look at XHB, they're pricing off for the next 30 days about $2.76 of potential movement. And we had good reports on the housing side. That is another benchmark or flag that we watch to see how the economy is going. If you start to see housing start to flounder, that could put um, this, the economy in question, which then is going to put this upside bullishness in question. Um, taking a look at the rest of the week, we want to keep an eye on initial claims and continuing claims. Watch the S&Ps. Um, and then we have the commodity space. Uh, towards the tail end of the week. In that gas, watch for a draw. It's been a mild winter. It's been warm here. We want to see if we have a draw again on that gas. Uh, that would be very interesting if we did. I'm not expecting it, but again, who cares what I expect, right? Um, take a look at the crude inventories. We've had a build. The price drop has, has really, um, you know, it's seen it at the pump. It's been great for the consumer. Uh, there's a lot of money that's out there that's out, that the consumer's going to start to look to deploy. They're pricing in for this week in USO, the ETF that tracks oil, about $1.45 still remaining in potential estimated move going in just for the rest of this week. We're, we're talking to you on Wednesday right now. That's impressive. So you're going to see some volatility in crude uh, going into the end of the week and expect to see that for the foreseeable future. At the end of the week, you're going to see existing home sales. Um, look at ITB, that's the ETF. They're pricing in between now, Wednesday, and Friday. It's still the ETF that has things like Lowe's and a Home Depot and Pulte Homes and Toll Brothers. Um, they have uh, a dollar potential estimated move going into the end of the week uh, b based on a, you know that number coming out. So, Vlad, there's a lot of volatility still pricing this month. And, and going into February and March expiration. This is a great opportunity for people to take advantage of that, and that's why you gotta keep an eye on these videos, as well as some of the picks and ideas that you come up with with your tools and applications and what we have at uh, Trading Block and Money Block. Thank you, Joe, for your insight. And you can find more information at tradespoot.com. If you use tradespoot.com, we have additional research and information that you can find.